So Dan, when you first heard about the idea of pneumatic compression with recovery systems at the Turf Club, what were your thoughts? I was reasonably excited. It's a bit of a passion of mine. I believe as a, a veterinarian interested in orthopedic surgery, that we do a lot at the time of diagnosis with ultrasound, x-rays, scans. We do our surgery at the time of the injury, but we're not really following through long term as they are in human sports medicine. And research has shown in the human side, the more effort you put in the post-injury time, the better results you get. Okay, and during uh, during recent times, you've actually uh, been involved with three horses that had suspensory ligament issues that were being treated from a recovery point of view with the recovery systems. What were your observations? What we've observed in these three cases as a trial, we've seen uh, a decrease in just the generalised swelling around the suspensory ligament and this would be due to the intimate uh, pneumatic compression squeezing the fluid away and back up the leg. The other thing we saw, what we thought we saw, was a slightly increased healing pattern faster on the ultrasound and this hopefully relates back to the research that shows better collagen healing in human Achilles tendon and in uh, research in lab animals. Very good. And what do you think of the potential of pneumatic compression for other aspects of horse wellness such as say warm-up? Uh, warm-up, the whole idea of, of compression therapy is to get the blood flow into the limbs and out of the limbs without going through the stress of exercise. Yeah, and lower so, metabolic cost, yeah. Yes. And how about day-to-day -day recovery? You're seeing a lot of horses from a rehab point of view. Would you imagine that there's a benefit in day-to-day -day recovery as well? <laughs> I think if we're increasing blood flow into an injury area, that's got to be a bonus. Blood is an amazing healing uh, uh, healing medium. We've taken blood things out like stem cells and uh, uh, platelet factors. We try and inject those in, but this is probably a better way of doing it, a more natural way of doing it. We're increasing the blood flow to an area that's healing. Once again, without the stress of taking the horse out of the box and risking physical injury to the part of the leg.